good, blessed evening. <laughs> okay, so here we are for fourth night of Yule. It is sacred to Njord, Freya, and Gear. Um, I'll be talking mostly about Freya, because, well, she's she's awesome. Um, <clears throat> I already have your candle lit. If you seen the picture that I posted, um, of course, last night being man the night of Manny, um, the moon, god of the moon, it came off in a crescent moon shape. So I thought it was really cool. Um, but I did post that on our page. <clears throat> but it is lit. It is going. Um, tonight's incense in honor of Freya is clove because she likes things a little spicy. Let me just make sure. Okay. All right. <coughs> I promise I don't have the Rona. Mm. All right. So tonight is almost the Thanksgiving of our 12 nights of Yule. So this is based mostly for your inner circle um, because it's the time of kinship. So what you would normally have Thanksgiving dinner with. This is the time of feasting. So, um, your family and your closest friends, those friends that you have that you consider family, um, it's about the importance of hospitality, sharing, um, feasting, and, and that kinship, that, that bond. Um, okay. So, tonight is also the night of toasting and drinking. Now, there is alcohol in this. It's not wine. Like, I wish that I had. I made my own wine. It's grape soda and vodka. <laughs> so, you're supposed to fill Odin's cup first. And then after you make the toast, you pour his out. I I know that some people say when they make a toast after, after they're done, to the gods. Or, as, as it is here, hell Odin. Um, so then you pour his out first. That is bringing... Um, <clears throat> victory, um, peace, and, um, for a good season. So, hell Odin. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Hope you have your drink, too. Because what is the Norse without drinking? Don't have any mead, so it's the best they could do. Okay. <clears throat> This is the time, like I said, to build your, have your personal community. Who are the most important people and closest to you? And you work on strengthening those bonds and um, building those connections. Well, that's the same thing, isn't it? Okay, so work on strengthening up the, those bonds of the people closest to you. Um, okay. As I said, I was going to talk about Freya. Love Freya. Why? Because she is a very strong and powerful woman. Um, <clears throat> she refused to give in to the path that others set out for her, and she claimed her own. So, if, if you're looking for strength in, in a female, then look to Freya. Um, she just refused to settle. And she is leader of the Valkyries. She gets her pick of first slain. 
you know, whoever she wants to come and invite to sit in her hall, that's who she wants. And that's who she takes. <clears throat> okay, so uh, my favorite story of Freya is the story where uh, it was um, one of the, I, was an ice giant? I can't, I'm thinking it is. Um, anyway, or, yeah. <coughs> but they wanted to marry her. But they had stolen Thor's Mjolnir. And Thor dressed up as her, and Lor Loki escorted him to that land for him to get back his, you know, so he pretended to be Freya so that he could get the Mjolnir back. That's just one, just one of my favorite stories. Um, okay. Now I'm just rattling off through here right now, so if anybody wants to chip in and say anything, or even join me, then by all means, I'd love to have you on here. Give me all a minute. <clears throat> I just... Thought, you know, before I go into the today's virtue. Okay. Okay, so I will go on. Um, today's virtue is love. <clears throat> and it's having that compassion and loving yourself. And... Um, just being able to leave a positive impact on somebody. Um, you never... I like to... Well, of course, we can't do it right now. Why do I keep... I'm sorry. I'm living in the past and hopefully the future. But, you know, just giving somebody a simple smile. Like, you don't know how their days went. But if you smile at them, that might be just the uplift that they need. Um, that's just a small thing you can do. But any type of positive impact that you can make on somebody else's life, that's that's love and the ability to um, open up, be compassionate, help others through what they need to go, what they're going through. Um, now, I'm I, I'm not gonna say you, that you have to be. You have to be an empath to do this. You don't. You just have to love yourself first. Because you can't you can't love others if you don't love yourself first. Um, so the season is about, uh, for, for today, it's about caring, being thoughtful, Thinking about others' feelings, um, not to the uh, to the point where it's a crutch, but being considerate of others, <clears throat> um, being unselfish. I mean, these could be any type of random acts of kindness. Yeah. So that's what I got. Short little video tonight. Um, I suppose I could have talked more about the other gods that represent tonight, but alas, I didn't go into it. Because I, Freya is a little bit more mainstream. Most people know about her, and that's why I, sh I should have done the others, too. But, um, and I do apologize. Um... But I hope you all are having a great Yule, and I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow night. I know it's the holiday season, but I'm leaving these up to where anybody can tune in at any point in time. So just because, you know, you miss it, you can you can still go back and, and watch. Um, I am putting these up on my YouTube as well. Same thing you, that you see here. Um... <clears throat> Okay, so, you know, Rowan Temple of Light, um, at, at Gmail, so that's what our, our handle is on.